Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Satya Nadella. What an incredible moment. It's just amazing, technology. These are the kind of magical moments that we live for. Our industry's progress is punctuated by moments of category creation. Windows 10 and holographic computing is one such moment. What you just saw in terms of the experiences, many of you in the room here are going to experience more this afternoon. You're going to play Minecraft. You're going to be able to see Skype in a completely new way. They're just going to be mind-blowing experiences. Today is a big day, big day for Windows, a big day for what it means to our customers, to our partners, and to Microsoft. It is about Windows and our innovation going forward. It is about new categories, new experiences, and most of all, about new opportunities. It is also about our ambition and aspiration for Windows and its impact on the world. The fact that there are 1.5 billion users of Windows is incredible and humbling. It's a responsibility that none of us at Microsoft take lightly. But we have bigger hopes, higher aspirations for Windows. We want to move from people needing Windows to choosing Windows to loving Windows. That is our bold goal with Windows. I've talked in the past about Microsoft's mission being centered around empowering every individual and organization on the planet to be able to do more and achieve more. I've also talked about how we're going to go after that mission by focusing on things that we as a company can uniquely do and contribute, being the platform and productivity company in a mobile-first, cloud-first world, by doing excellent and world-class work when it comes to gaming experiences. Those are the strategies that are going to help us realize our mission. And Windows 10 is core to all of that, is central to all of that. Windows 10 is built for a world where everything, or nearly everything, both at home and at work, is digitally mediated where you want to be able to interact with your computing environment in the most natural of ways, from speech to touch to ink, and now, of course, gaze and holographic output. Windows 10 is built for a world where there are going to be more devices on the planet than people. That means the mobility of the experience is what matters, not the mobility of the device. Windows 10 is built for a world where not only are you consuming lots of data and content, but you're generating lots of data about yourself, about your environment. And you want to be able to reason over all of that in a trusted way so that you can enhance the very experiences across devices. Windows 10 ushers in an era of more personal computing in a mobile-first, cloud-first world. You saw the experiences throughout the day. It's not just a checklist of features. It's that design sensibility that allows us to put the more personal into computing and build things that center around you. You see that in the way we have approached Cortana and how it knows you on all your devices and helps you proactively. How our Spartan browser will enable you to browse the web and annotate the web and share the web. How the Surface Hub takes something like joining a meeting and makes it easy and really brings the power of the team together in a meeting. The first time I had a chance to see HoloLens and experience what a NASA scientist can do in terms of moving the rover 
and then being able to walk on to Mars was nothing short of surreal. These are the experiences that make Windows 10 that more personal computing environment that people are going to love. I want to talk about three specific strategy points around Windows. First, I want to talk about Windows as a service. I want to talk about Windows and mobility, because that I know is top of mind for many of you. And I want to talk about how does Windows and our cross-platform strategies come together. When it comes to Windows as a service, it's a pretty profound change. It's not just the simple mechanics, although they are big changes in terms of our development methodology, our deployment policies, or servicing. It's much more fundamental than that. For us, it is about aligning our goals of success for Windows with customers and their experience and engagement with Windows. That's what Windows as a service means. For customers, they're going to get continuous stream of innovation. Not only continuous stream of innovation, but also the assurance that their Windows devices are secure and trusted. For developers, it creates the broadest opportunity to target. For our partners, hardware and silicon partners, they can coincident with our software innovation, drive hardware innovation. And lastly, for Microsoft, as I said, it allows us to think of success, measure our success and our progress in a way that is aligned with customers and their engagement. We want people to love Windows on a daily basis. Let's talk about Windows and mobility. Throughout today, you saw an explicit focus on mobility of experiences. That's our worldview. In the full arc of time, when we talk about mobility, it is not about the mobility of any single device, but it is the mobility of the experiences across devices. That is what we are focused on. We are building into Windows the experiences from productivity to gaming, how Spartan and the browser comes together, how Xbox Live comes together to enable that seamless crossover across devices as you move around at home and at work. We also have unified our developer platform. The universal application platform is what now runs across the phone, the PC, and the TV. And of course, now new categories such as holographic. And the fact that we have unified the application platform means developers can write applications that can target the widest set of Windows devices. We have a unified store that means creates a unified way for you to monetize as a developer. And we believe that's what's going to make us attractive for developers to write universal applications. And lastly, we absolutely are committed to bringing a great lineup of hardware. You saw some of the hardware innovation that's driving and stimulating demand with our Surface Hub, and what we are doing with HoloLens. And you can be assured that we will do some fantastic work from the flagship phone to the affordable smartphone and have a full lineup of phones that will be available with Windows 10. Let me talk a little bit about our cross-platform approach. Simply put, Windows is the best place. It's the home for the very best Microsoft experiences. We are going to have services everywhere. But when it comes to Windows, we are not bolting on apps. We are seamlessly harmonizing our experiences. The way Cortana is built in, the way Microsoft Account and Azure Active Directory from an ID perspective are built into Windows, how OneDrive and the Sync Framework are built in, how Skype and Outlook are built in, how Xbox Live is built in. This is just 
built as part of Windows as a native experience where the scaffolding of the shell as well as the applications come together in the most seamless, delightful, personal ways for users. That's what we are doing with Windows. We absolutely are going to have our services and their application endpoints everywhere. But we absolutely believe that Windows is home for the very best of Microsoft experiences. There's nothing subtle about this strategy. It's a practical approach, which is customer first. We want to give ourselves the best opportunity to serve our customers everywhere and give ourselves the best chance of helping customers find Windows as their home. That's what we plan to do. Let me close out by talking about my own personal experience of Windows. Windows is, touches all of us at work and at home. And for us, who are perhaps close to this, each day we're reminded of the enormity of the responsibility that we have as we move the innovation of Windows forward. And to me, over the last year, there was this opportunity I had to go visit a school in the Bronx and see how the students there are using PCs to open up a completely new world for themselves, exploring, making things, learning to code. This summer, I was in an ICU room with my son as he was recovering from a surgery. And I saw all of these Windows embedded devices and Windows PCs and tablets being used by the nursing staff and the doctors to take care of him. They cannot be anything more personal than that. Over the holidays, I had a chance to see an 11-year-old girl unbox a Lumia 535, which was their very first computing device for the family and get ourselves set up on Microsoft account and all of these services and download Candy Crush and Skype and teach our parents about what it means to use those things. And this was in India. And that experience, that delight in that little girl's eyes left an undeniable impression on me. Those are the moments of true inspiration for me, and I know that that's what everyone feels, what you saw from Terry to Joe, Phil, Hyatt, Alex, and everyone else. That's the passion that drives us. Windows, unlike any other product at Microsoft, does bring all teams together to build Windows. And so we are really looking forward to how our Windows insiders use the new builds of Windows, the new flights of Windows, and the feedback from that is very important. This is one of the most collaborative releases of Windows, and we're looking forward to that feedback cycle. We want to make Windows 10 the most loved release of Windows. Thank you very, very much. Let me have Terry Myerson come back on stage. Thank you.